Are you sick and tired of super high gas fees and low transaction speeds? Then you might want to get into Avalanche now. My name is Kieran and you're watching the Decentralized Lifestyle where you get an unfair advantage by learning how to invest like smart money. So after you watch this video, you will become the subnetter because you will understand the power of subnets for the Avalanche ecosystem, understand the economic consequences of a multi subnet universe for AVAX and what that will do with the price. AVAX has actually been performing pretty bad since the 21st of November where it was $145 and now it's trading at $72 at this trend line and hopefully as more and more subnets come up with some interesting uh, concepts like Play-Doh and games, then it is possible that AVAX will actually break out of this trend line and go back and reach these uh, previous highs. But you definitely want to get in before um, this massive price explosion happens. So let's start by explaining what Avalanche subnets are and why they're super important for the Avalanche ecosystem. So subnets are basically Avalanche's scaling solution, many layer one, and layer two chains have problems with uh, many users going onto the chains and they're using different depths and that causes the chain to become super clogged up that causes like high transaction fees and the transaction speeds get really slow so if you want to like participate in an nft mint for a play to earn game and you just can't get your transaction through it's really frustrating you might be missing out on thousands and thousands of dollars subnets are basically mini blockchains that are running underneath of the avalanche security they're basically out of the box solutions for companies DAOs to create their own mini blockchain with their own parameters subnets allow avalanche to scale horizontally meaning that the more super high performing dams come onto the avalanche ecosystem the more subnets will exist to house these dams and make sure that avalanche does not get clogged up organizations that are running these subnets can decide if they actually want to use AVAX, USDC or their own coin to power the gas fees. If you want access to alerts, weekly technical and on-chain analysis updates as well as fantastic alpha leaks that might even make you massive gains and I highly recommend that you join the DeFi Academy. You can join the masterclass that we've got coming up in a month or you can join the DeFi Academy right now by clicking on the link in the description below. You'll be joining a thriving community that shares a lot of alpha airdrops, um, trading ideas and so on. I'll see you in there and let's continue with the video. With the introduction of subnets, what is also pretty awesome is the launch of the Avalanche Multiverse, which is a $290 million incentive program by Aval Labs, and it's focused on accelerating the adoption and growth of subnets. This is super exciting and definitely going to be a catalyst to bring a lot of liquidity into the Avalanche ecosystem. Now, what if, what if this acceleration program had the same effect as the avalanche rush when it was announced so if we look at when avalanche rush was announced that was back um at the end of july uh, the price of avax was at around 20 dollars, and it went all the way up to 140 dollars. and now now the multiverse incentive program has been announced avax is trading at 73 dollars, and then hopefully it will have the same amount of um, a price growth thanks to attention that these subnets bring. If we go back to the AVAX USD chart, I believe what is a likely scenario to happen with the uncertainties in the market is possible that AVAX goes down and retests this $58 level and then breaks out of this trend line, retests its trend line and it goes way back up. That would give you numerous opportunities to accumulate back into the market. If you've been in stable coins, you could actually maybe buy at this super, super strong support level at $58. You could also buy on the breakout or the retest at around $74. That would allow you to capture a large portion of the price growth that lies ahead for AVAX. What's the point of talking about subnets if we don't also talk about the main players that have just began using subnets and why it's going to be revolutionary for the Avalanche ecosystem? and play to run games in general. Play to run games are going to thrive with subnets because play to run games bring massive amounts of players on into, into an ecosystem and these players actually want to have like super high transaction speeds and they don't want to pay like a lot of money for each transaction to go through because play to run games they actually need a lot of 
smart contract calls, so the transactions have to be cheap. The first play to earn game that we're going to be talking about is DeFi Kingdoms, and they've just launched their own subnet mini blockchain, which is called DFK Chain. And it's incredibly exciting because um, Crystal Veil will be on the DFK chain. This is the DFK chain will become the go to location for community and GameFi launch pads. Um, it will uh, allow for much more use cases for the Jewel token. Validators securing the DFK chain will have to lock up this Jewel token in order to secure the subnet. What is also more is that Jewel will be used to pay for gas fees on the DFK chain. If we look at the price action of Jewel on a trading view, then it hasn't been great over the last few months and it's been um, trending in this uh, descending wedge. Now it's possible that thanks to all of these new use cases that you will have for the validators paying for gas fees, it might actually break out to the upside. So maybe there's a profitable trade to make, be made here. I'm going to be observing it for the moment. The next play to earn game that has discovered the power of subnets is Krabada, an avalanche native play to earn game, which is a little bit like um, CryptoKitties. Um, Axie Infinity mixed with a little bit of um, Pokemon style stuff but with cramps. Krabada is fantastic and if you actually look at this comparison between the Avalanche C chain and their subnet which is called the Swimmer Test, you can see that the Swimmer Test is incredibly fast with transactions going through really fast compared to the Avalanche C chain and this is definitely something that gamers want. They have a low attention span like me, we don't want to be waiting like a lot of time for transactions to pass, you just want to play the game and the transaction should actually just be something in the background. But yeah, doing countless transactions in uh, like 15, 16 seconds on the left hand side it's still confirming and then it's taking ages to perform these transactions. So it just shows the power of subnets. Pretty awesome that they're using their Krabada in-game currency TUS, which stands for treasure under the sea. And that will be used as the gas token on the swimmer network for players to use. Validators were going to have to stake um, Krat token in order to actually uh, secure the subnet. If there's enough demand, I might actually make a video showing you how you can actually play the Kravita game. Leave it down in the comments below if you're interested in that. Before we go to the next play to earn game, let's have a look at the TUS token performance. It's been pretty bad, but it's trading now on this important blue trend line. Um, it bottomed one time on the 14th of December at around 0 0.047 and it bottomed again at 0 0.07 and it bounced quite nicely. So this might be a good area to accumulate. The last game of the list that will be using subnets is Ascenders and I can't tell you how excited I am about this game. It's a mix between EVE Online and Zelda and the goal is to become one of the first AAA games on the Avalanche ecosystem. It just raised $6 million in funding. It's a super fantastic game with incredibly beautiful graphics. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to try it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video talking about subnets, the power behind them and how they will power play to earn games and make the Avalanche ecosystem grow at a much faster rate than many other layer ones. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. With that said, make sure you leave a like. I'll catch you in the next video, have a good one.